Hello, my friends. Today, I am going to be trying out a new format of video, which is basically audio. I wanted to give this podcast-esque feel a try because it's a lot faster for me to record and I'm coming up with so much content these days, especially with everything going on with the coronavirus, that I just want to crank it out and get it posted for you guys. And the most important thing that I'm doing is what I'm saying, not my face and my crazy hair. (laughs) So I thought I would give this a try. Let me know what you guys think, and I hope you enjoy today's episode about positivity. I think as humans, we have developed this perfectionistic idea of what being positive means. We have all these hashtags like hashtag first world problems and often hear other people diminishing their negative emotions with at least I have a roof over my head. And we learn from them and then we start acting that way towards ourselves and others as well. Be positive. Be positive. You have to stay positive. Just be positive. Just think of something positive. We hear this repeated all the time, or maybe it's something like stop complaining, like there's nothing to complain about, you have so much going for you, etc. Maybe that's just me, Uh, maybe that's just what I've observed in my own life, and that's just the experience I'm having, but if you're feeling the same way, then this recording is for you. I used to think that being positive meant being happy all the time, and for the longest time, this really got me down because I found that I just was not able to do that. I am a recovering perfectionist. I would try my damn hardest to fight my negative emotions and just be positive, and it was not working out. I was going through a very difficult time in my brain for a lot of years of my life. Like, to the point that when I actually do feel confident and bold and happy, I don't really even recognize myself. So I totally understand what it feels like to not feel like you're being very positive. And our brain has this story it comes up with for itself because that's what it does. It just makes judgments about certain circumstances that we go through. And then it goes off looking for ways to prove itself right. If you don't first recognize that it's doing that and make a conscious effort to choose something else. So our brain will just automatically keep choosing this story that it's fed itself for so many years unless we are able to stop it and decipher that story and figure out what we want to do to change it. So then I would be insecure and I would go looking for someone else to solve it for me, which universe is great like that that's exactly what it's going to give you is the exact experience that you need so that you can learn what you need to learn and grow as a human being so i dated this guy hoping to relieve my anxiety like that's not the only reason i dated him don't get me wrong i'm saying that i wanted someone else to solve this problem for me so i dated this guy And he was unable to receive my anxiety that I had developed about going out and meeting people. So he would just ask, what's the big deal? Stop being anxious. There's nothing to be anxious about. I don't understand why you're being anxious. This is stupid. And it's funny because that would just feed the negative spiral that I already had going on in my own head because I didn't accept my anxiety. So... In looking for someone to heal it for me, I actually got put into a situation where I had to heal it myself because they were just making it worse. Um, They were just reflecting to me basically what I already thought about my own anxiety. I didn't like it. So I already had this story going that made me feel anxious, which was no one is going to like me. I'm weird. I'm not going to fit in with these people. I'm not good enough. And that's what the main story in my brain likes to tell me. It is, I am not good enough. And imagine how that makes me feel in basically any situation. A breakup, I'm not good enough. A broken friendship, I'm not good enough. Not clicking with anyone when you're out in a social environment, it must be me. I'm not good enough. A job, like anything. 
so it would just grow to the point where it stopped me. Of course I feel anxious, right? Of course I feel anxiety if I think no one's going to like me and I'm going out and proving this to myself. Of course. So I have to have some compassion on myself. But then what do I do when I feel anxious? I find excuses not to go do things. I probably could benefit from doing them, but I find excuses not to go because I feel anxious. I avoid going out. I avoid trying a new job. I avoid meeting people. I get stuck in my house, I can, and I end up without growing my friendship group because I don't go make friends, right? So it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. In fact, he would sometimes make comments about how hard it is to be around a negative person and how people don't like it when I do X, and I would believe him. So I would actually think that his thoughts about me doing something wrong, just because he worded it with other people don't like this, I would believe him and think that other people must be talking about me, more people don't like me, and I would believe him. And understandably, right? Like, that can get totally exhausting to be around someone who's thinking and saying things and making them feel, making themselves feel bad all the time. So I totally don't blame him at all. Like, of course, like he's having his experience, I'm having my experience, and he just was not in a place where he could be sympathetic with all of my anxiety. But this gave me this opportunity to grow and learn my, more about myself because obviously that whole band-aid was not working. It was just causing me to think it even more. So then, of course, this relationship didn't work out. And then I was devastated and mourning it and trying to move on by avoiding seeing reminders of this guy, which, by the way, doesn't really help you move on um, trying to avoid your feelings. <laughs> Uncontrollable circumstances are going to happen. And he would just pop up on Facebook or something like that, and I would think something about it and therefore feel sad. And understandably, I would feel sad seeing, you know, photos of someone I didn't want to be broken up with. But a friend of mine one day reacted to that by saying, you just need to move on. Stop talking about it. Just be positive. So these little things, like things like this is, have happened over time. And just observing other people's posts on Facebook and things like that. These are all things that our brain is being fed. And then we have this choice as to whether we can believe them or not, if we can think the same things as these people or not, and then that's what creates our emotions or our thought pattern that creates this constant story we have for ourselves. So I developed this thought pattern that if I could just be positive all the time, people will like me. See, he didn't like me because I wasn't good enough. She didn't like me because I wasn't, I wasn't being positive. So I just got to be positive and then people will like me. And guess what? Guess what? Like, I still felt like people didn't like me, even after thinking I was being positive and this and that. It was exhausting to try to be perfect all the time. Let me tell you, I've tried it my whole life. I've tried to be good enough for everyone, but really what is going on is I'm not good enough for my own self. And I'm trying to be perfect and I'm trying to be positive. And this is not the definition of positive, you guys. It was exhausting to keep up with this definition of positive that I had made for myself. And then I probably wasn't responding really well to other people who weren't meeting this standard of positive, right? And I would kind of blow up at them because I, I have to do this. Well, then you have to be positive too because I'm not going to deal with your bullshit because I'm trying to deal with my own here and stay positive. Well, that's not really serving anyone now, is it? So how can that be positive? It's not. That's not what positive is. So now positive to me means allowing yourself and others to be a human, which is what we are. We are humans. Humans are humans. We make mistakes. We aren't perfect. We have 50% positive and 50% negative experiences in life. That's just how it is. Life is not this golden platter of fun and joy and vacation. And if we think that life should be any different than it is, we actually are creating our own suffering. If we think life should be fun and life should be easy and life should be fantastic butterfly, rainbow daisies all of the time, you know, and like 
like the current situation we're in, if we think that this should not be happening and people shouldn't die and we shouldn't have to suffer like this, we are creating our own suffering. We are creating unnecessary pain for ourselves. It's not that way. That is not how life is in believing it is anything, believing it is or should be anything different than what it is, is just making you miserable. And I've done it myself. So I'm totally feeling you guys right now who are just thinking, oh my God, no, this can't be right. I'm, I'm, I'm right. I know I'm right. No. Um, so I'm learning about this 50, 50, 50, negative, 50 positive concept in a course that I'm taking. And if you don't agree with it, it's totally fine. Like some of you might think, well, I think life's 80% negative and 20% great. And well, you might just have some thoughts that you need to work out. Like, because what really makes life good or bad is our thoughts about it. It's not what's going on. What's going on is completely neutral always because our thoughts are what make our emotions. Our thoughts about a situation are what create emotions for us. So, so if you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. You have to do what works for you. But to me, this concept is just solid gold because if we can accept that life is 50-50, then when we experience these moments that aren't so good feeling, we can just think, oh, well, this must be the half that's just not as fun. Okay, this is life. Let's do this. Instead of trying to resist it and be mad that it's not positive and go around trying to change the circumstances and cover things up with food or drugs or alcohol or sex or sitting and scrolling Facebook all day, whatever quick fix we have that we think makes us feel better. Um, and also accepting ourselves when we feel disappointment or anger or sadness actually allows us to move through these emotions so much faster because when we don't accept them like I mentioned above when we don't accept that life is this way and we try to resist it and we think that it should be different when we don't accept that and when we don't accept our negative emotions we just actually make them last longer so when we don't accept them because we think oh I should be positive or this isn't, oh, this isn't fair. Some people are starving. Some people are dying. And some people have it way worse than I do. I don't have a right to feel this way at all. I just need to be positive and stop thinking like this. And we hurry up and try to push it away because we don't really feel like we deserve to feel this way because maybe we're comparing ourselves with others or we just think it's a stupid thing to be upset about. Like when we do that, we actually just feel worse because not only do we feel bad already about something, we're judging ourselves for feeling this way, which feels even worse. So we're judging ourselves for feeling completely normal human emotions. Therefore, we are creating our own suffering. Being positive to me doesn't mean being happy all the time. Being positive doesn't mean cover up those negative emotions. You can't be sad. You can't be bored. You can't be disappointed in like judging whether or not the situation is good enough to be disappointing or good enough to make you mad. Like we are making all these judgments and contributing to this negative emotion even worse. So being positive doesn't mean being happy all the time. It doesn't mean cover these up and put a smile on your face. It means accept that those emotions are going to be there. Accept that this is just part of the human experience. There's anger, there's sadness, there's fear. These are just normal human emotions. And that's okay. And move on with your day. Because when we think like this, it's so much easier to be nicer to someone else who is having a bad experience. Like when we think that we must be positive all the time, it's impossible for us to truly be empathetic towards another person because then we want them to be positive too. So when we hear something that's not positive, we're like, no, you have to change. And this means towards anyone, like even the person that you think who has it all, who is just complaining, oh, my iPhone broke, I need a new phone, like even them. Like, they are experiencing normal human emotions. Their experience is different than someone else who's feeling disappointment. Like, there's so many reasons to feel disappointment, but it is okay that they feel disappointed that they don't have the latest and greatest iPhone. It's totally 
okay that they feel that way because the only reason they feel that way is because they think that they should have the latest and greatest one and maybe they think that by not having the latest greatest one they are not succeeding as a human which I know a lot of you are thinking that that's just ridiculous and those are that's where we come up with these hashtag first world problem type of posts but we have to allow these people to be humans they grew up differently than you did we all grew up in different environments and we all have different experiences of what is positive and negative but we are all going to have these 50 50 emotions and the only way that someone is going to change those emotions or move through them is to first accept them allow them to be there because we are human and then observe what thought they're coming from and then we can choose better feeling things but as long as we're trying to force positivity on people all the time it's actually creating a lot more negativity okay we are allowed to feel bad about stuff you guys it is okay our thoughts are what create our negative emotions but it's okay that we think the things that we think because we first have to accept those emotions and those thoughts and have compassion on them before we can step back far enough to examine what thoughts we are thinking that created those emotions for us. So then we can start changing our thoughts. We cannot change our thoughts from a place of being mad at our thoughts. We cannot change our thoughts from a place of thinking that we have to be positive and we are not allowed to feel the opposite way because being positive is the only way. That is not being positive. That is being fake. That is trying to cover up these things that you are feeling that are completely human. And they all come from our thoughts, okay? I felt anxious because I believed that people won't like me or I'll mess up and not be good enough and therefore people won't like me. But as long as I was just fighting that anxiety and getting mad at myself for feeling anxious and trying to push past it and I could not learn that those were the thoughts that were causing it and I would only cause myself more anxiety because I would be beating myself up for feeling anxious. So until I learned that it was okay to be anxious, I couldn't figure out why I was anxious. So you've got to be compassionate with your thoughts and your feelings so that you can learn what's really going on. And then from there you can make a change. Being positive does not mean never feeling a negative emotion or thinking a negative thought. I want to make that perfectly clear. I'm going to repeat it again because I think it's so important to understand. Being positive does not mean never feeling a negative emotion or thinking a negative thought. Okay? It is okay. Whatever you are thinking, whatever you are feeling, it is okay. Be kind to yourself today, my friends. I'll talk to you later. If you found this information helpful, I would so appreciate a comment, a like, subscribe to my channel, and I would super appreciate it if you share it with all of your friends, you guys. I want to get this information out. I want to help people feel better because I'm learning how to feel better, and it feels amazing, and I want that experience for other people as well. So please share, please like, and please tell me what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. I would love to know what else you guys would like me to talk about. Tell me all your thoughts.